and welcome to my broke ass kitchen quarantine edition. Also, 420 edition, man. Even though 420 is like a normal day for me. Every day of my life is basically 420. But whatever. I don't want to talk about drugs on my channel. Today, we are making grilled meatloaf sandwiches. Using the meatloaf that I made the other day. I'm going to put the link to that video down in the description if you want to learn how to make meatloaf or you just want to watch my dumbass cook meatloaf. But today, we're making grilled meatloaf sandwiches. So, sit back, relax, and enjoy. So what you'll need for today's broke-ass recipe. That leftover meatloaf. A little cheddar chez, Some ketchup. Mayo. And some white bread. First, you're going to slice the meatloaf. Uh... So for the good grill, I'm using mayo. You could use butter if you want, um, or you could use oil, whatever, cooking spray, whatever you feel comfortable with. I just like to use mayo because I think it has a good flavor, and um, I love the combination of ketchup and mayo. So instead of having to put mayo on this, just put it right on your bread. I think it makes a really nice grill, too. So we're going to mayonnaise up all our shit here. All our bread. Sorry, I'm out of focus. All right. Now, to assemble our sandwich, what we're going to do is we're going to take some slices of meatloaf. I've been pigging out on this at like 2 o'clock in the morning for the past couple days, so I only have enough for two sandwiches. I guess in all reality that's all my fat ass needs, but you'll know. Je know, je know. All right. Now that we got our sandwiches like so. Since I add, usually I do mozzarella, but since I already put cheddar in the meatloaf, which I'm going to post the meatloaf video in the description below. That way you can watch how to make meatloaf if you would like. I'm just gonna put a little chaz, a little cheddar chaz on top of this bitch. All right, now she is ready for grilling. So what we're gonna do now is get a nice frying pan. Now if you're at home and you have a normal stove, you're gonna wanna use a low temperature. Like I always say, my broke ass kitchen has two temps, on and off. So we just gotta be extra careful with mine. We're just gonna let this bad boy grill up. Chip! Chip, son! I've been daydreaming about scalp potatoes all day, so that's what I'm going to eat with my metloaf sandwich. So sexy. Bow chicka wow wow. Bow. Bow chicka 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 wow wow. Now a little bad sex. I mean sex. Alright, I said here sex, we go. Not trumpet. We got our grilled cheese sandwich here. Got all the carrots, the onion, ooh, the celery, the grilled cheese, the ketchup, the mayo. Mmm. Wow. Wow. This meatloaf tastes better the second time around. Holy shit. Mmm. 
You got the ketchup. You got the mayo. Everything, everything, the cheese. Oh my God, it just comes together so nice. You can just put meatballs left over, whatever you got. Freaking get creative in your kitchen, guys. Mmm. Wow. Look at that. Let's see. That's not as cheap. Oh, yeah. Mmm. Oh. Wow. Wow. Grilled meatloaf sandwiches. Took the words right out of my mouth. Must have been why I was eating it. Ma'am. Oh, Lord. God. I would do anything for love. But I... Nah. I don't know. I can't think of any good meatloaf puns. <laughs> it's 420. I've been smoking all day. My brain is fucking fried, folks. Anyway. I'm going to continue smoking. And enjoying this holiday. Even though every day of my life is basically 420. But, uh... Hey. Whatever. Anyway, thank you all for watching, folks. That is my broke-ass grilled meatloaf sandwiches here on My Broke-Ass Kitchen, Quarantine Edition, 420 Edition. If you like what you saw, please like, comment, subscribe. If you subscribe, hit the notification ding at the bottom there, and you'll get reminders every time my dumb broke-ass wants to decide to cook food for you. Until then... Until then, see, I told you I've been smoking all day, folks. Shit. Whew, God, wake up, Sam. Until next time, you all have a wonderful night. Stay safe. Stay sexy. Stay home. And have a wonderful night. Hey, yo. And I forgot to mention, in the next episode, we are making pizza bagels. Ooh.